All right, all right. We're going to get into some You Don't Know Jack. The party pack is just me, so we're going to play some of that single player You Don't Know Jack. This is on my Dell, Dell um, Startup game has been activated. 90, it's a 7020. I got that 90, 9020 motherboard in it. I got 10 gigs of RAM. I got an i3 processor. I'm going to start with this game. I'm testing um, my streaming knowledge and capabilities. Let's see how much okay, of a jackass I am. On. Cookie, that first breathalyzer was inconclusive. You're gonna have to take another one. <sighs> okay, listen to me. I'm gonna need a jug of beet juice, some WD-40, and a bag of peat moss. Stat. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and whenever I see an attractive woman, I make this sound. <laughs> I got my phone set up. So I can monitor my first test screen. Well, even if you don't care, I do. I do. But not that Monique. A different one. <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Slightly used balloons. The more these balloons deflate, the more your wallet inflates. The more you sell the coke If you happen to balloons. find our sponsor's wrong more answer of the game, you will be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. Get ready to question. <clears throat> to get started, Mexican do attitude. What dish could Porky Pig order at a Mexican restaurant without committing ca 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 cannibalism? <laughs> Al Pastor, <laughs> chorizo, ceviche, or lomo? <laughs> ceviche I is fish. <laughs> Great idea. Give spicy Mexican food to someone who doesn't wear pants. Probably had all these questions. No, it's time for game. Mart TV, and it's a this or that. Let's see. What I I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each yeah, one, tell me if it's a sales department on Walmart.com, an MTV show, or both. If it's a Walmart department, press the X button. Oh, I'm if get it's too on MTV, press the B button. Much. And if you think Man. it's both, press A. Bro, well, let's do People it. People won't shut the fuck up about MTV. Bags. <laughs> Cribs. <laughs> Mugs. <laughs> Skins. <laughs> Juniors. Walmart. Juvies. Walmart. Oh, Why would that be at Walmart? That's Walmart. <laughs> I said Juvie. Oh, you just came out of Jersey Shorts. Why would they at Walmart? Why would they do at Walmart? I don't know why I at Walmart. Walmart doesn't have a jackass department, though. Officially. Walmart sponsored juvenile sales. Here's one for you. <laughs> just want to check in. Right, hey. How do you feel? With the pharynx, with the thoracic cavity, with the pulmonary veins, or with the thalamus? Cavity is mouth. Planets sound like there's something in your body. Uh, that's I, do. It was a I so wanted you to pick this one. Located just above the brain stem, the thalamus acts as the relay station, sending information like pain to the brain. That's oh, fine. Don't ask me how I'm feeling. I asked you how you, how you feel, but whatever. Sure, it's bad. it's also with my thalamus, but it's just common decency to reciprocate. <laughs> Up next, for whom the dinner bell tolls. Ooh, it's almost time it for my dinner. For D's, Better man. have this fortune cookie first, as prescribed by my doctor. Hmm, not bad. Let's see what my fortune says. 
Laughter is the best medicine. Hmm. If that's true, which character from the nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle is the healthiest? The cat, the little dog, the cow, or the spoon? Boom. Hate to disappoint you, no. but wait. No, I don't. No. Where's that confounded the right answer? The moon, in the Mother though. Goose nursery the rhyme, hey diddle diddle, the, the cat and the fiddle, the little dog is I the one that laughs at all the crazy stuff going on. Was this was pre-YouTube, you understand, so if somebody told you a dog laughed, you just had to take them at their word. <laughs> Why not try? The button, the button I've had the intimate time. thoughts about Adam. Which of these people is B.I. curious? Someone interested in sexually experimenting with barium? Someone looking to explore with bromine? Someone flirting with beryllium? Or someone fantasizing about bismuth? Um, really? <laughs> Ready for this? The chemical yeah. symbol for bismuth is B.I. But as a society, we shouldn't right put labels on letters. things like this, <laughs> except chemicals. Uh, you should was, label chemicals so you don't blow yourself up. Unless that's what you're into. Look, I don't know, man. I didn't know. I thought it would be. That about does it for round one. And you haven't even broken a sweat. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And lest you forget, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. All right, let's get back to it. Next. Spit up or shut up. If Lady Gaga changed her name to the most common first word spoken by babies, what would she be called? Lady No, Lady Dada, Lady Cat, or Lady Mama? Mama. Interesting choice. Oh, Correct dada. answer, show yourself. According to a poll performed by YouGov, Dada by, or Daddy was by far the most popular I first word spoken by, by babies, too. beating out Mama or Mommy by a considerable See, margin. He, he, he that part wrong. Lady Dada Mother. is a good name, right? Please just say yes, Mother. because that's the name of the screenplay I wrote for Adam Sandler. Was asked. Coming up next, childhood murmuries. It looks like we have a I'm sort of treat money, today. Now. My good acquaintance, old man, somehow found his way into the studio again. How's it going, old man? Ah, terrible, Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Masterson, actually. Since when? Since birth. <laughs> I know we're on Earth. <sighs> Anywho, I need your help remembering something. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that screwy up to the do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Screwy up to? I forget. So, what is it you're trying to remember, old man? Well, it's something I used to do when I was just a lad. Uh, not sure the history books go back that far, but I'll see if I can help. Why don't you describe it to me? Sure thing, Nate. It's a game. British kids like to play it, I think. You get three strikes per turn, and seeds are involved somehow. What is that game? Would it be uh, Conkers, Queenie Queenie, Marbles, or Five Stones? What's going on? I'm going to go Marbles. Marbles? <laughs> I think you lost yours. It's so obvious. Are you thinking yeah. of Conkers, old man? Conkers, yeah! Only That's I an old was British kids 64. game I used to play. <laughs> Each player has one of these seeds called a conker, and they take turns whacking at them. Three whacks per turn. Why is that fun? <laughs> it's hard to imagine you as a little kid, old man. Well, I look pretty much the same, minus the liver spots. Didn't start growing those till my early 20s. Mm -hmm. And when did you start smelling like liver? Hmm, that depends. When was liver invented? Follow me down to the sea. Oh, this one's known as All Rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. Okay. 
If trees brought a class action lawsuit against Lumberjacks, which Dr. Seuss character would they most likely hire as their legal the counsel? Get the the cat in the hat, the Grinch... <laughs> The Lorax speaks for the trees, Finally, and in a lawsuit, the legal one. counsel speaks for its Finally. client, in this case, the trees. Finally. It makes Finally. sense the Lorax would be a lawyer. He always sues. Okay, you're out. Say hello to... There's a question in my pants, and you're all invited. It's the point that twists us into order Then goes in and see if you are right Question Okay, as usual, if you get this correct There's a little extra in it for you Speaking of extra Put these underwear styles in order From least butt cheek revealing To most butt cheek revealing Thong, bikini, tonga Bikini, tonga, thong Tonga, thong, bikini Thong, bikini, tonga Or tonga, bikini, thong Hey, here. way to be wrong! Oh. Were you thinking of this one? Bikini style underwear cover the butt cheeks more than Tonga style, and Tonga style cover more than thong, which thong leave your butt cheeks pretty much end, all out there. But really, any style that doesn't expose my vestigial tail works fine for me. This one's called Feeling Fines. I love that actor from Schindler's List and the English Patient. You know, the one who plays Voldemort. But I'm never certain if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. What's the proper way to say that Mr. Fines has to throw up? Ralph has to Ralph, Reef has to Ralph, Rolf has to Ralph, or Rafe has to Ralph? <laughs> The correct answer is... Yep, Rafe Fine's first name is spelled like Ralph, but pronounced Rafe. And his brother Joseph Fine's is pronounced Joseph, but it's spelled L-E-S-S-F-A-M-O-U-S. It's a weird British thing. Welcome to the attack... Of course, who wants to hear my yapping? No, I'm still doing it. Sorry, here you go. I love you like a legal guardian. I hope you know who adopted or just took care of whom. Daddy, we got Daddy, we
There it is. I actually adopted a child recently. Uh, thank you. I'd have him introduce himself, but I sent him out to get coffee. Oh, it's taking him a long time. Even for a two-year-old. You don't know Jack! Oh, uh, I'm gonna see what's next. Yeah, we're gonna get the streaming... Something I'm else. Cold, beer tastes no good. This is good. This thing is. is the It'll only right beer back. that tastes like beer without as many calories as beer. Sit ups and lifting rocks, punching cops right in the teeth. When Glug Lights felt bottles are empty, no beer comes out, so you know it's empty every time. Wearing shorts, sweating a lot, hoping this will get Jenny back. Glug Lights felt comes in a bottle with its name on the label. So you don't get confused or give it to a baby. Rock hard abs and glistening pecs. Drinking beer while exercising. Getting tips and massive chafing. No pain, no gain. Be a cool tattoo. Get dehydrated, don't take breaks. Water shows the babes your weakness. Must get babes to make Jenny jealous. Jenny must know you're doing all right. Glug Light's felt. Glug Light! Hi, I'm Mike Builder, General Manager of Jackbox Games. We've been hard at work coming up with new ways that you and your friends and family can play You Don't Know Jack. Don't have a lot of game controllers? Not a problem, because you can play this very game using your phone or tablet as a controller. But that's just the beginning. In the coming years, it's my hope that instead of using a regular controller, you'll be able to play our games using a regular TV remote, a calculator, a block of wood with buttons crudely drawn onto it, or even a garage door opener. But why stop there? We're hard at work making game control out of shoes, coffee table books about Paris, electric toothbrushes, farts, family pets, and maybe someday your own mind. My coworkers tell me that most of these are technically impossible, but we already have it working on phones and tablets, and luckily I don't entirely know what the word impossible means. I think the word possible is in there somewhere, so that sounds promising. So if you love You Don't Know Jack, hopefully you'll eventually be playing our other games like Fibbage and Everybody Help Grandma using just a half-eaten turkey sandwich as a controller. I'm Mike Builder, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. The perfect cup of coffee. That's what we pour at High Horse Coffee House, but it's not for everyone. Frankly, your taste buds probably can't appreciate how complex and rich our coffee is. And you know what? It angers us to think of you drinking it. Okay, there it is. And hey, let's take it a step further. We despise you. Our coffee is f***ing amazing and complex, and it's like from another f***ing dimension, but it's wasted. It is wasted on you. I would rather pour our coffee on a pile of manure than let it touch your tongue. That's right. You rate lower than steaming manure piles. So stay away. You just stay away or so help me, I won't be held responsible for my actions. So remember that's High Horse Coffee House on Historic Mansion. No, you know what? F you. I just showered, but I still smell kind of funky. Did you remember to clean your entire body? Well, I mean, I tried, but there are so many body parts to remember. That's why you need the shower list. The shower list? A helpful list of all your body parts that need to be cleaned. It's just a little piece of paper. Yes, but it's waterproof. So I can take it in the shower. Let's see. I washed that. I washed that. I washed those. Okay. Yeah, I forgot my butt. Use the shower list and never forget to wash your butt or any other part of your body ever again. Thanks. Don't thank me. Thank shower list. Thanks, shower list. Now, could you get out of my shower? Ooh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just passionate about the product. <laughs> Get one more game in, then I'm gonna figure out what to play next. Uh, don't you hate going to the movies by yourself? I mean, I do. We have so much in common. I mean. You don't know. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and uh, you don't anybody know, Black. know how long you have to cook no, a exactly. chupacabra?
flying solo, so did Amelia Earhart. And look how that turned out. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Team Sasquatch, a new drama on the Angst Network. He's mysterious, he's elusive, Team and he Sasquatch. drives the girls wild like him. Monday at 8. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. New day, baby. And we're off. I'll be back with some more um, Android. I still got my boxes. I haven't given them up. I know some people really like my Android Okay, to get things videos. started, I haven't given not up so those. smart Alec. What is Alec Baldwin most likely to scream at a dude with a camera who works as part of the paparazzi? Fuck you, you fucking paparazzi! I'll fuck you in the ass, evil paparazzo! Get fucked with a fuck paparazzi! Or I'll break your fucking camera with my fuck paparazzi! <laughs> Hello? You're probably going to have to issue some kind of apology. Ah! No, no, I'll get this. The singular term for paparazzi is paparazzo. And as a rule, paparazzi are borderline vile, but you still shouldn't f them in the f***ing That's just sinking to their level. Here's a good one. Drake a leg. Okay. Ah. Oh my god, for a second there I thought I saw my ventriloquist dummy Billy O'Brien again. I've been having visions of him just showing up at the most in our two tunes. Ah! Uh. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Not me. It really is you. It's always me, you dunny. I was hoping you were just a mirage. A mirage that we're not in a desert. Oh, speaking of which, where would you be if you saw me as a mirage in the Gody Desert? Pakistan, Mongolia, Peru, or Mexico? <laughs> well, it's Peru that you're wrong. Let me show you something. Yes, the Gobi Desert is in China and Mongolia. Just don't sneak up on me anymore, Billy. Okay, no troddling. Sunday, I'm gonna murder you. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing, I didn't say anything. Here we have Shacking Up. Where should a large Shacko be worn on Shaq O'Neal? His extra large ears, his big feet, his large head, or his massive hands? Nobody picks that one. It was begging to be picked. Yes. Shackos are a military style hat with a large feather in the front, often uh, worn by marching so band leaders. It would be the most ridiculous thing he's worn since Kazam. <laughs> Pucker up for Russian ladies looking for young men. And stop the train, it's a dis or dat. I am going to list off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's something that happens to Anna Karenina in Tolstoy's classic novel, Anna Karenina, or a Justin Timberlake song. If it's Anna Karenina, press the X button. If it's Justin Timberlake, press the B button. Okay, let's move. Adultery. Childbirth. Murder! Amnesia! Suicide! Future sex! Nothing else! Apparently you don't know the classics, and you don't know much about Anna Karenina either. I keep meaning no, to reread Anna Karenina, but I've been waiting for a time when I really want to fall into a deep, deep depression. Coming up, would he or wouldn't he? 
What would it mean if Woody Allen were an alleged pedorthist? He's been accused of touching shoes. He's been accused of touching grapes. He's been accused of touching bugs. Or he's been accused of touching feces. A pedorthist is a doctor or healthcare professional who focuses on feet, especially shoes and inserts that can help with pain relief. And look, I'm not saying he's a shoe doctor, and I'm not saying he's not a shoe doctor. But the one thing we can all agree on is that The Curse of the Jade Scorpion was a terrible movie. That's the end of a thrilling first round. And hopefully you'll do even better in the next round. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. Let's see what's in store. Try this on for size. Pup all night. Considering their lifespans, which dog from the first Puppy Bowl would be the least likely to be alive to watch Puppy Bowl 11? That adorable Poodle Puppy, that adorable Great Dane Puppy, that adorable Dachshund Puppy, or that adorable Pug Puppy? As a general rule, the bigger the dog, the shorter the lifespan. So the Great Dane with a life expectancy of about seven years is, um... Probably not going to make it. Oh, we're going to get some angry posts on our Facebook page about this question, I can tell. But it's not my fault. We live in a world where horrible things happen. Question 7. How about... Beautiful millionaires are just so relatable. Say the incredibly down-to-earth Jennifer Lawrence decides to go skydiving. If on her way down-to-earth she reaches terminal velocity, what down-to-earth thing might you hear her say? Wowzer, I could not be going down-to-earth any faster. Aw, man, I'm going down-to-earth slower every second. Lol, I broke the sound barrier on my way down-to-earth. Or, cool beans, I'm actually now going away from Earth. No, but how adorable would it be if she said that? Here's where the money is. A falling object or adorable movie star that has reached its terminal velocity will not speed up anymore on its descent before hitting the ground. It's falling as fast as it can. But even if she fell to her death, I bet Jennifer Lawrence would leave the most adorable crater. Take a stab at... Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Closely associated with Miranda and Ariel. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Miranda and Ariel are two of the larger moons of Uranus. And you can't have moons without Uranus. Hey, we were supposed to have a tuba there to accentuate the butt joke. Where's the tuba guy? Uh, he was in a car accident on the way over, Cookie. He's, he's dead. Hey, trombone guy made it! Take a good look at... Hi, Caramba! I'm a cold-blooded killer! Say Bart Simpson decides to start going around attacking authority figures with his slingshot. If it turns out like the story of David and Goliath, what might happen? Principal Skinner will die after getting shot in the forehead. Chief Wiggum will die after getting shot in the gut. Mayor Quimby will die after getting shot in the heart. Or Homer Simpson will run away after getting shot in the groin. Principal Skinner is authority figure. David slays Goliath after slinging a stone into the middle of the giant's forehead. So that's how Principal Skinner might meet his untimely demise as well. But it really wouldn't be that much of a loss. Springfield is literally crawling with people who sound exactly like him. Goliath is basically the principal. Tell him what the fuck out of here. May I introduce... I'm going to need two oceans of calamine lotion, stat. 
If the 80s hairband poison were like poison ivy, what part of them would give people a rash? The fumes from their hairspray, the oil in their makeup, the silk on their rockin' clothes, or the ink in their tattoos? Coming in contact with the oil on a poison ivy plant is what causes the skin to break yeah, out in a rash. So if the band poison were similar, it would probably it be best not to touch leaf. their oily makeup. <laughs> In fact, it's probably best not to touch any part of the band poison. You have no idea where they've been for the past 25 years. Step right up to the... Ah, you already know the rules. Off you go. Climb time. What did these guys climb? Good luck. I never saw much of it. I'm going to go out of the time. I'm going to go out for the useless um, knowledge right there. That's the, the game! Best. This jack attack has inspired me to climb, so I did. On top of a human pyramid of interns. My elbows are giving out. All First right, person to right, fold doesn't right. get college credit. You don't know Jack! Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Back in the games.